How's it going everybody? Welcome to the video. Today's video is going to be on my bug out bag. This is my personal one that I keep. Not really beside the bed, but in easy access. Um, it's packed to the brim, almost to the point of stretching too much. But this is a perfect size, doesn't weigh too much. It does have a hydration pack built into it which is something I do like. Um, it's a Condor bag. Off the top of my head, I can't remember what Condor bag it is, but it's a nice one. I like it, and it works for how I have my setup. So let's go ahead, break it down, and I'll show you what's all in it. Here's the bag laid out. I'm gonna show you the, the back. It has um a breathable sections on it for your back and your lower back um it has a chest strap or sternum strap then it also has um a waist belt to kind of help get the load off your shoulders and onto your waist um again hydration pack built into it it goes onto the inside there is a pouch on the outside of it, on the back right here, that you can access through here. Because you can get to the hydration pack through here or through the inside, really. Um, on the outside the side, there isn't much that I have on the outside. It's basically just kind of, I guess you could say it's kind of stealthy, even though it is a tactical style backpack. Everything is inside and hidden, put away. There are a few compartments on the outside. There's one on the side, on both sides right here. So we'll start with that one. All right, so glow sticks, which are always good to have because you can use them for signaling, walking around. They do put out a lot of light, so these things are good to have. Um, two flashlights, again, from other videos, if you watched, AAA. So everything is AAA. One thing I like about this flashlight is you can use it as a flashlight or you can put it face down and slide it open and it's like a nightlight so you can have it flashlight or kind of a nightlight type thing and you close it to dim it down all that stuff i really like this flashlight it's nice it's not too heavy then there's also a whistle with a compass on both sides All right, now let's move to the same pouch, but on the other side. And in here is a pack. I can't remember what this thing is called, the brand name of this, but it's a battery holder. Power pack. I think that's what it's called. And it can hold batteries. So you got double A's, triple A's, and you can stick a nine volt in the middle, which I don't have anything that runs off of nine volts, so there's nothing in there. I don't remember if there's anything in this pack that runs off of double A's. Can't remember, I need to go through my pack more often. All right, also in this side compartment is a knife sharpener, nice compact, can fit in your pocket or whatever and a small multi-tool i like these small ones because they're just easy to carry they're a lot smaller they're not heavy not bulky and when you have a bug out bag you do not want a lot of things that are heavy and have a lot of weight to them you want to try to keep this thing as light as possible there is one thing in here that if i did have to bug out it will come out of here but it's in here for storage which i'll get to that that's in the main compartment now let's move into 
the small compartment on the top of the bag right here. This has, okay. This has an extra ID, which I'm not gonna show you because it's got an address on it, but an extra ID just in case I happen to lose the one that's on me. I have an extra one. Um, have a ready man um, lock tool. You can put this in a lock and it basically can disable the lock on the door so nobody will be able to unlock the door with this. So if you needed to get into a room and lock yourself in, that's what this is for. And then a small radio that is solar powered it's hand crank um it's got all the bands on it for weather all that kind of stuff um also has a flashlight on it so this is a good thing and then also it has um different cables with it that you can actually which i have tried and i've used this before just to test out and you can plug in here um usb cable and charge a cell phone through the solar panel through the cable and it works really well it is slow but it'll charge your cell phone this is a handy little radio now on to the bigger compartment on the front there is a carabiner on here so we have candles and these are the Coglins candles and they are like they say like 24 hour candles or something they last really long they're actually a really good candle I've used these before when we had a power outage and they last a long time I like these candles so I grabbed another set to keep in my bag for that kind of purpose um, this is a first aid kit um, still just a boo-boo kit nothing like trauma which I'm getting getting ready to have do a style a trauma kit and all that kind of stuff I want to have one so we're gonna go through the first aid kit which has band-aids alcohol wipes um, there's two pairs of scissors um, bandages there's ibuprofen an ace bandage there's a gauze, um, more pills, which Imodium AD, um, Benadryl, a couple other things inside this. Um, oh, I can't remember what that is off the top of my head. But then there's, you know, fingernail file. There's a bobby pin, which you can use for the needle if you had a splinter or anything like that. More big bandages. Um, there's a ready man card right here, which is, you can use some of this for um, first aid. So nothing major in there, still just like a boo-boo kit. If I do get something like a trauma kit is I would probably either have it on here or it would be on the get home bag that's in the Jeep. So that way because if I'm bugging out, I'm basically probably going to take the Jeep. So if I had it in there, it would still e be easily accessible to grab off that pack and slap it on this pack if needed. So I want to get tourniquet, a couple other things for trauma, and have it in a pouch that's easily removable from one bag to another. And I do like that Like some of these are like you know these clamshell style openings it doesn't like just fall open it kind of stays up a little bit so i like that because if you have things in here it just doesn't fall and roll all out inside there's a little zipper mess mesh pouch which has you know there's poncho two emergency space blankets a um a shemog and that's all that is in that then you can go to the back pouch right here. I 
I have a signal mirror with a whole bunch of other things that tell you how to use it, all that kind of stuff. It's a really good thing. If I'm correct, I got this through a battle box. I can't remember, but this is really good. I keep the plastic on it because I don't want the face scratched up just in case I need to use it. If the plastic ever does come off, then I will wind up putting it in a bag for the same purpose, to keep it from getting scratched. And that's all. Then this little hat is fire starter stuff. Um, have a fire steel, which this is like one of my favorite ones. It is a little mm, tight to get off, but it is nice. And it works really good. Comes with a striker on it. And does throw sparks really well. Um, has a compass on the end. So I've also said that before in other videos, redundancy. So this is my second compass that I have and I have two flashlights so far. I think there's at least two more inside here. And then in here is tinder, which is like dryer lint with a little Vaseline on it. Good um, fire starter accelerant for a fire. And then in this one is lighters and a one of the like credit card style multi-tool thing but again I keep lighters inside a case like this so that way it does not get hit and release all the gas so these have been in this bag for a while and they're still full of fluid and they'll last because they're in this where they do not get then touched. Now on to the last pouch which is the main compartment and that has a lot of stuff in it because like I said this thing is jammed. If I take the one thing out of here it would give a lot more room in the pack and of course it will lose a lot of weight but if I ever have to bug out again that one item will come out so we have a nice folding um, shovel nothing big but it does work oh, yeah. rest of the handle um, so you can use it as a shovel or a pickaxe um, and it has a compass on the end so third compass this is a nice little handy shovel it will work good it's all metal and I like it I have I, think I have two of these um, and I mean it is small but it like I said you don't want heavy things and big things for your bug out bag so this is nice and handy almost can fit in a pocket Next thing is it's an expandable cup so you know take the top off and you can open it and you know there it is it I don't know probably like two cups three cups of water and it, like I said it's nice it's collapsible it fits into you know little cracks and crevices um, this was another good thing from BattleBox that I like it was well worth this. Alright, I have a, this is a Ozark Trail Cup instead of the GSI cups. This is an Ozark Trail Cup, Walmart. Um, this was $4.48 or something like that. Less than $5 for this cup. And it is basically the same thing as the um, GSI cups. Nice size, works perfect. Um, inside of it is, you know, I keep the Esbit stove. 
and this is a um, scope for the gun that's in here. And I keep it in there so it's kind of doesn't get, you know, just thrown around. It's kind of nice and secure in there and it fits better. A hundred feet of 550 paracord. Um, Silcock key. So you can get water from government buildings or schools or anything like that. I think this was another battle box thing, but it's worth its weight. I mean, it, it's a little heavy, but water is worth it. So this is worth having. Um, a sling for the gun. A military, you know, canteen. And inside of it is a light my fire sport, a second water container, um, tablets for the Esbit stove, a P38 can opener, and an expanding towel. There used to be, I think there was a plate or something else that went inside here. But at the same time, it's like you don't need it because it's two pieces. You got the cooking and then you kind of got the other plate. So I took the, what was in here out to have it as storage. You know, you've got a container. You might as well try to fill it with things instead of having an empty container inside. That's more storage space. Oh. A... Um, fleece blanket um, warmth I mean it's worth it it's not big it's not heavy it does take up some room but if you're out in the weather and you're cold you know you have a space blanket you have this you're gonna be warm all right then I have some more of these little you know travel bags and inside this one is there's tape, so you got electrical tape, there's some duct tape, and there's the aluminum style tape. So tape if you need it to tape up anything or, you know, kind of as a repair, always have tape and it's, you know, not heavy, not very thick, it slides into a crack in a crevice in the corner. Then I have in another bag, I have pens and pencils and a small notebook unless you if if you need to take notes as you're walking around or you know markers or something like that you have a book pens pencil to keep track of what you're doing like you know field notes inside the main compartment is a like a kind of a pouch in the back and I keep a um, a folding saw and it's it's a Coglins. it's you know basically like a Walmart brand um, less than 10 bucks and I have used it I mean there's still sawdust on it it works pretty good for being a you know basically a Walmart brand saw I like it works fine um, have a um, Mora knife so nice fixed blade knife these things are not expensive it's like 14 bucks but it's very sharp very handy and I love the way it feels in my hand I wish it was a a full tang knife instead of just like they're only like in here we're on the rubber handle but for what this is and the price of it if I lost it buy another one cheap but i've got another one somewhere but it's a nice knife i like these then last thing is yep that's the last thing in the bag is my rifle
I mean, everybody knows what this is. It's a U.S. Survival um, AR-7. You know, it's a 22. You know, Henry repeating arms. It all stores in here. Two magazines, barrel. Um, this is what makes the pack heavy, is this. But like I said, you take this out, and it frees up a lot of room in here and takes away a lot of weight. And it's got a strap on here to you know use your sling and you can carry it on you because if you are bugging out this is something you want out at all times on you not in a pack it's just in the pack for storage purposes um, I've used it it's very good it's very reliable I have the scope set up as a quick release onto You know onto the mechanism so when it goes on to the Picatinny rail it's always at a certain spot and it's set so when you use it it's always going to be accurate and I mean I bought this rifle just for this purpose for having it in a bug out bag So there's a breakdown of my bug out bag. And again, it is my bug out bag. It is my personal bag that I carry, things that I want in my bag. Um, I don't go off of what everybody else wants in their bags. I have watched lots of videos and kind of got ideas of what other people want or what other people have in their bags and kind of has led me to what I have in mine. But what I have in mine is the things that I know I can use if I'm out it'll help me get by yes I don't have food in mine but I have a rifle and I can hunt I can shoot I'm a very good marksman so the thing is why need to carry food in it if you can hunt and do that kind of stuff there's no need for food food is readily available in the wilderness um and plus that's extra weight that you do not need so and i know i don't have a water filter in that bag again i have them in other bags but they can wear out and then if you are bugging out you can boil your water and all that kind of stuff. So there's other ways to filter your water and get rid of all the germs, the contaminants, giardia, all that kind of stuff. So again, these are things that I prefer to have. If you think I'm missing something that is like life or death, let me know in the comments. Um, but it's my take on a bug out bag and that's what I have. So thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.